Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how you can write data to a file in C, so let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you have stdio.h imported, and you have a main function. Inside the main function, we're going to do file, pointer, file. Make sure this is all uppercase because this is a C type. So, what is file? Well, this line of code basically creates a bookmark that we can use to remember where we are when reading from or writing to a specific file. Because we're essentially just declaring a pointer to a file type. And this pointer can then be used with functions that can read from, write to, open or close files. Next, we need to open the file that we want to write to. So we're going to do error no underscore t, ERR, I didn't name this by the way, this is just what it's called in C, however I did name the variable ERR because it's short for error. Then we do equals, f open underscore s, which is a safer way of opening a file. And then we're going to do an and symbol, file, test.txt as a string, and w as a string. So, this line of code means, open the file, test.txt, so we can write into it. And let us know if you have any problems while you're doing that. And this W means we want to write to the file. If there's data in the file, we're going to overwrite that data. And if the file doesn't exist, we're going to create the file, then write to it. And basically, when we do this function, a non-zero error code could be returned. So basically, this function will return a zero to the ERR variable if it all went well and the file opened without a problem. However, if a problem occurs, a non-zero error code will occur. And this error code will give a bit more detail as to what went wrong. We don't care about what went wrong, but we can use this error code to determine if the file was opened successfully or not. So we can do if ERR is not equal to zero, which means is there an error number or error code? So we do printf error could not open the file because you don't want to try and do stuff with the file if we can't even open it. Next, make sure you do an else statement so we can have somewhere to put the code to actually write to the file. We are then going to do f printf file as the first parameter, uh, comma, then the string that we want to write. We've also added a new line character, so if we were to write more lines to the file, it would occur on the line below. So we're going to do hello world and 69 to be funny. And then we can do f close file. So with all of that, we're going to save our work and hit play. And no errors occurred, perfect. So if you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project, go to open folder in file explorer, and this is where my file is going to be. It's going to be next to sort to my uh, C file, so I can just reference the name of the file as the file path. You can put the file wherever you want, just make sure you put it in the right place. So we can open the file, and as you can see, it says exactly what we had, which is really good. Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more C tutorials. Thanks for watching.